Hello everyone, this is Sam Spade and welcome to another Coding Fundamentals and GML tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be talking about maps. Maps are another one of GameMaker Studio 2's built-in data structures. Like all data structures, they're a collection of values, the relationships between those values, and the functions that allow you to interact with those values. You should watch the introduction uh, to data structures for general information about how GameMaker Studio 2 handles the built-in data structures. So a map which in other languages may be called a map or a dictionary or a hash table, is a data structure that stores information in a key value pair. What that means is that the data over here, the value, which as with all data structures in GameMaker Studio 2 could be any type of data, is always connected with a key. Maps, which again are called dictionaries in some languages, can be thought of a lot like dictionaries, where if you want to look up the definition of a word, you look up the word. Maps function in the same way which we'll see examples of when we switch over to GameMaker Studio 2. If you want to look up data, you look it up by the key or the word that that data is associated with. Keys should be strings. You can actually use numbers uh, if you want, but you do need to be careful. The match has to be exact. So I will sometimes use constants or enums uh, because I know that those numbers can't be changed. But anytime you want to start doing math on a number, depending upon what you do, you run into the problem that you'll get some type of floating point error, and then that number won't match exactly to the key. So this is really more of a recommendation, but in general, I think that keys should be strings, or if not strings, they should be something like an enum or a constant, something that you never mess with uh, in code. What is always true, though, is that keys must be unique. You primarily interact with maps with the add, replace, and delete, you can also clear, get size of a map, and see if it's empty. You can also look at things like the first, the last, then the next key in the map, which is useful if you need to iterate through a map. But for iteration, it's important to know that maps aren't sorted in the normal way that you might think of it. And so you don't normally want to iterate through a map. As you might have guessed, maps are great for storing data by name. This allows you to create what you can think of as custom objects and store information about those objects. They're also one of the two data structures used with JSONs and other types of custom data structures. So let's switch over to GameMaker Studio 2 and see this in action. Okay, so we have our breakpoint. As always, we've created our map. And now, let's step through it. So we've got our data structure. We're going to tell it to view as a DS map, currently empty. And now we're going to use the built-in function DS map add. And this is the key right here. And this is the data. So, greetings, hello world, pandemic ongoing, currently equals true, pandemic name, coronavirus, and now we can see another version, DS map replace. This will replace an existing key, because again, there can only be one key. So pandemic name is the key. We can only have one of those keys, so we're going to replace it with COVID-19 probably should be all caps. So there we go, you can see down here, pandemic name now is COVID-19. And again, this is the key value pairing that we're talking about. Pandemic name, COVID-19. This is the key, this is the value. Greetings, hello world. This is the key, this is the value. Pandemic ongoing, one or true. This is the key, this is the value. So now we have DS map find value, my map, pandemic ongoing. So we're gonna look in our map we're going to look for pandemic ongoing, that's the key right here, and we're going to get this value. So it should return 1. And indeed, map value equals 1. We got it up here, map value 1. So if map value equals 1 or equals true, we're going to show the message work from home if possible, which indeed, let me drag it over, we have work from home if possible. Okay? So now we're down here. This is the other way you can access a map. Maps like lists and uh, grids have an accessor. The map accessor is a question mark. So this line right here is the exact same as DS map replace or DS map add if it doesn't already exist. So what we're going to do is we're going to look up this position, pandemic ongoing, right here, and we're going to set its value to false. And now you can see we've looked it up, we've changed that value to false. Now we can also get from the map using the accessor. So again, we're going to use this key pandemic ongoing to look up that value. It's returned as zero, which is false. So now we can show the message, go to work. And then as always, we destroy the map and our tests are complete. 
In summary, maps store things in key value pairs. The primary interaction with a map is adding and retrieving values. They're used for things like storing named data, saving and loading, and a lot more. Along with lists, they're one of the data structures I use most frequently. I think it's a great idea to get familiar with what they can do. Finally, the map accessor is the question mark, and you can use this to add or retrieve values stored in the map. As always, the links in this slide will be below, along with links to the source code and the slides themselves. And that's it. Thanks for watching.